Hey everyone, so today in my showroom I've got the brand new blue TH610 um, behind me. It, uh, it's really something that when you see them come off the production line, you know, they, they really stand out from everything and they, uh, they really give you the wow factor. Um, but what I'm going to talk to you today guys, a little bit about the features um, of what the TH610 really gives you. You would have seen them on Patriot Games and all the trips that we've done, carrying all the toys, um, your buggies, side by sides, you know, um, bikes, boats and things like that. So I'm going to run you through it and we'll probably start here at the front, uh, the front of the trailer. So I think what you find with the TH610 is it's very similar to the X1 on the front. Obviously we've had to redesign the storage options because of the rear deck. Um, but let's have a look in the front, shall we? So if you open up the front gullwing box, you've got the same features as that the X1 has. You've got a utility shelf, a barbecue swing away for your baby Weber Q, um, but what you will notice is it carpeted inside. Now that's what we do to our TH610s and our TH730s because they're a bit more of a boutique item. So it gives you more of a luxury feel. You can lift up the locking system there, pull out your barbecue, hook it up to the gas and away you go. That's breakfast on the run. And we've done that a few times, I think. Put that away, lock it in. It stops a lot of the, uh, you know, the vibrations on those corrugated roads. You've still got enough space on the, in the front there for jerry cans or any other storage you want, you want to put either side. Uh, but this shelf is great for hoses, straps, tools, barbecue and equipment. You know, that's where you're going to put most of that stuff there. You've got a fire extinguisher when Justin burns the sausages and uh, you've got your two gas bottles holders either side. Coming to the kitchen side of the camper, you're going to notice this really cool wet storage box up the top. Now that's great for when you're finished riding the bikes. For well, the buggies, you can throw all your boots up there, all your gear, and put tables, chairs up there, and it's not going to matter if they get wet or dusty. Um, you're going to keep it out of the inside of the trailer, um, so you don't have to clean that out after you've finished with it. And if we open up this door here, obviously similar to the X1, you've got the fridge compartment, and that's where your sink's going to be. So you just want to pull that out. And this customer's chose to go with the 50 litre fridge, um, which is an option. You can also get a 60 litre on there as well. Uh, you've got cold water to your sink, and there's also a drainage plug so you can run a hose from here away from your camp, so um, yeah, it's not going to make all this a mess. You've got somewhere to put your plates in here, and my favourite is the cutlery drawer. So that's where you can put all your knives, spoons and things like that, keep them really in one place, okay? Which is great when you finish washing up, you can put them straight in there, you're not having to sort of search around the camper um, as where they're going to go. But they, so that sort of comes out. There's also a stabiliser leg that you can put on there, just if you're staying for long periods of time. Just takes the strain off those uh, runners there. And obviously no kitchen's complete with a nice bench top to work on. So you're going to open this up. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a little bit smaller than the X1, so you actually don't get a two burner stove with a TH610. So what we actually do, we get a two burner portable stove and we put it right here. Um, and do our cooking there. That frees up this whole area to do, you know, chopping the veggies, carving the meat, that sort of stuff. Now in here as well, this is where your battery management system is, and this is also where your light switches are. So you can turn lights on and off in here, uh, 12 volt outlets on the side, and a water tank level gauge indicator there. What you've also got is a really cool fusion stereo um, speaker system, so you can play your music, and they've got little speakers out the back on the deck, so when you finish riding, you can sort of listen to music as well. Now one thing to note is that if you do blow a fuse on any of your switch panels, what you can do is just pull this, turn the lights off, all the switches off, just pull this cover off, and that exposes your fuses. You can see which one's blown, replace it, and be able to work it again. The next great feature of the TH610 is the airbag suspension system. So we use airbags as standard um, on these because you've got varied of different loads. So you could have a quad bike, you could have two quad bikes, you could have three dirt bikes, you have a boat, you can have all sorts, so what you want to do is be able to maximise your load capacity using those airbags. It's going to give your trailer a more comfortable ride. What you can also do is when you're finished camping for the weekend and you're off you want to go, you can automatically level your trailer by flicking up the two switch and it goes to your optimal ride height. Okay, and then you can just take off. Probably the, my favourite feature of the whole thing is that when you are going to go camping and you, you've aired down for the beach or whatever, you can pump up your tyres again when you get onto the, the, um, the blacktop by using your 
air compressor outlet. So we supply you with sort of all the tools there um, to pump up your tyres using this outlet here. Because it does have an air tank that holds the air, it's a lot easier to do. Um, but that's all stored up under the drawbar, protected by um, a big bash plate, so you're not going to hit it. Now this drawer here, what I would use this for is for your dry food storage. Because a little bit how the storage is changed so you don't have access to the back like the X1 has, you've got drawers either side. So this drawer here is where I'd put sort of uh, my usual dry food when I'm travelling. Um, because most of this will store all in the front gullwing box, you know, your hoses, straps and things like that. So there's two options for your spare wheels on a TH610. They come standard with a space saver wheel up underneath. Um, so you've got this hole here in the chassis um, that you can run a, just like a normal four-wheel drive, you can run the tool underneath and wind your wheel down and get to that. You can also get it so you've got a wheel on the other side and I'll show you that in a second. What you might notice here as well are these big bash guards. Now if I think anyone sort of recalls any of our Cape video when we went up the gunshot, we actually carved the whole new track in the wall of that. And that was because of these two big support arms for the trailer. Now the wheels stick a full wheel width outside the side of your car, so you are going to get more deck space. Um, but what that does mean, you're open to sort of hitting trees and things like that if you're on those tighter tracks. So these are to deflect any of that sort of stuff and stop you damaging your, your mud guards here that are still, you know, um, powder coated aluminium. So, you know, that you want to protect those. You've also got this guardrail. Now what that's for is when, you might have seen as well, if we're running two quad bikes on here, we'll run them up over here and in here, obviously, without this one in place. Um, so these are to reinforce your mud guards there. Obviously when you're at camp, lighting's very important. Now what the toy hauler does is give you a few lights off the headboard. So I've got a work light off the side, they're extremely bright, and they're movable so you can move them wherever you like, wherever you're doing. You face it down to your kitchen, so if you're cooking you need a bit of extra light there. Um, but you can also get one in the middle. If I just, if I hop up there, this one here can sort of be pointed down to the, the deck to see what you're doing. You know, if you, if you break something on your on your bike or buggy, you can sort of put that there and use this as a deck to work on. Uh, and there's one on the other side as well. Uh, you've got facility to put a high lift jack holder here and max tracks here. Okay, so you can cover all your, carry all your recovery gear pretty much there. And we've got a service hatch here um, above the top of each airbag. So you've got access to the airbags if you ever have a problem. Now, when we were in the Cape, we actually blew the, all the air out of the airbags um, when we were travelling, when we hit a, a huge run out. And um, it was actually, we were quite lucky um, to be able to just hit the airbags on again and pump it up. But uh, yeah, if, if we hadn't damaged anything, these would have been really handy to get to. So you didn't have to remove the whole deck. We've actually got these big runs through the deck. So that's what you can use these for. So you can mount pretty much anything anywhere and strap it down. Um, find these really handy. Now with a quad bike, you'd probably strap it down similar to this. If you're using you know, a buggy or dirt bikes and things like that, you can buy from us um, wheel holders and a three dirt bike rack holder. And what that does is it mounts up the front here and you've got one bike here, one bike staggered back and one on the other side the same. So all the handlebars aren't touching. Obviously, if you like uh, fishing and things like that and getting out on the water wherever you can when you take your, take your gear there, you've got the boat loader up the top. Now, you've got a full powder-coated deck um, that's body coloured to, your, to your, the colour of your toy hauler. Um, you've got some really great tie-down rails to strap your tinny down and make it nice and secure for those off-road situations. Now, the way to get the tinny off is you run the hook, okay, off the winch Come down the back here, and then there's another section, um, a H-frame that sort of sits in here. So as it comes off the back, the H-frame holds the boat away from the trailer, and the nose falls down. Um, it's really good, works really well. You can have it off really quickly. Um, but I have got customers out there that don't use it for a boat. They use it for, you know, I've got a guy out there who's filming and use it as a large stand for his tripod. Um, or extra gear that he wants to take. So, you know, it's, it's used in a really versatile way. But if you do have the boat, you can also buy the outboard holder. So you can just lift it off, put it on the boat and drag it down to the water. Obviously, access to the boat, if you did need to um, get up there, you've got 
you know, series of steps that you can use to get up there, um, and hand, hand rails as well. A 3.7 metre tinny is going to go up there. Yes, it's going to hang over your tent about here, but all you do, you just release the winch a little bit and you push it back so you can pull your tent over. And I'll show you how to do the tent shortly. Look, I guess being a deck this high, you've got to get the, the stuff on and off. Um, we used to have ramps that we'd store that slid up in here, um, but we actually found that they kind of were a little bit too short for the actual, for, and too much of a steep angle to get the, um, the stuff on and off. So what we did, we made another holder um, for them for a larger ramp. So you've got a latch there, and that sort of holds right there. Okay, lower that down to the ground. You've got these large, large ramps. Sorry about the noise, that you can situate there. And there. It's a lot easier way of doing it. Um, you can re really get, don't have to go up on a steep angle now to get these on and off especially when you're using the quad bikes from the side. And then you can just pack them away and they just go slide up under here. So one point to make is that you really gotta pick what you're actually gonna do and what toys you're gonna to carry. Because if you're gonna go for a side-by-side, -side, you're not gonna option the boat loader because you won't get the roof on underneath. So you wanna be looking at the TH610's bigger brother, the 730, um, that's going to give you a 1.2 metre long deck. And that's what I would suggest for a lot more of your bigger buggies. The TH730 also is not available with the boat loader. So just remember that. So typically, if you're going for this style with the boat loader, you want to be looking at quads and motorbikes and boats. Okay, so not, not with the buggies. So we mentioned before the spare wheel under the chassis, and it's a space saver, but you can actually get a full size on the side here. Now this one here, you know, because they're quite heavy, they're 33 inch mud terrain tyre, we've actually got a rubber block underneath, and that's gonna help you position your wheel so you can um, put your nuts on to, to hold it in place. We're using the P-Core wheel, okay, so your Patriot Campers off-road wheel. Now the reason why we use this is because it's actually a 1500 kilo load rated wheel. Um, so ideal for four x four trailers and your big four x fours. Moving back to this side of the camper trailer, so this is your driver's side. Um, You've got, again, another access to that, that wet storage place um, up the top so you can strap all your gear in. But this stuff here is pretty much where you're going to put, you know, um, well in here this one's got chairs, it's got a recovery kit, but uh, you put sort of clothes and things in there as well. Because it is nice and dust proof, uh, it's going to work well. Yeah, if you had the uh, integrated tent that you can buy, um, this opens up inside your trailer, much like the X1. Um, so you can have access to all this sort of compartment too. You've got a solar input, okay, so you can charge off the solar. You've got another two, oh, the lights come on. Um, you've got another two power outlets and then you've got a switch for your water pump. So your water tap's just here, I'll just show you. Your water tap's just here so it's connected to your 120 um, litre water tank. And so rather than going around the other side and turning it on, all you've got to do is press this switch here. Um, so if you're having a shower or you just want to wash your hands or you're hosing some gear off, um, you're not running around the trailer each time. So one of the big things about the TH610 is because it does have a, a GVM of three and a half tonne, you do need a breakaway um, controller. And that has on the drawbar, that is this blue bungee cord here. So you connect to the car. If these massive chains, like they're massive chains, ever broke or the hitch broke, it would stop the trailer completely. All right, lock all four of those tyres up. That's really deep in there. I'll just pull this bag out because I want to show you how, how big the, the storage is in there. But look, these are big chairs and they go all the way to the, to the back there with, with room to spare. So there's an access panel at the back there that you can remove the screws from the corners. And that's where all your batteries and your BMS, that's all featured under there, similar to the X1. The storage in these is, is really good. So you basically can have it packed and loaded wherever you go um, without having to load them up each time. I think that's the key, because even with all your toys, you know, once you've, 
once you've worked out what toys you're taking and what you've got, they just stay strapped on. You're not loading up or anything like that. So they just stay there and you're ready to go. We'll open up this drawer. So it's a nice large, it's all carpeted, so you know, you can put your clothes in there. Um, and it's all lockable, so again, if personal items or valuables can go in there. Open this side box, you've got your shower system. Um, so you've got your shower system there that you can plug into your water tank, so using this outlet here, and your gas, um, your gas bottle from this side. And you'd have a shower tent, you know, typically probably over here um, to shower off if you ever needed to. Up in there, obviously, you've got the larger um, bottle jack to suit the heavier trailer. Um, and you've got a nice large storage compartment here and here for even more gear. So I'm gonna set up the tent. Um, this is, you know, your standard rooftop tent. So, um, you know, you do sort of have to get up here and, and run, run sort of your zipper around. Do. You can leave it there like that, but you can also pull it out. So now you've got the ladder out, you just need to remove the straps and they're holding it all sort of nice and flat. Okay, and then you pull this, and that sort of comes over, like so. You can sort of lock that into place there. Pull the canvas out from in, underneath there. You've got this pole, if you have a look, this pole here that sort of slides back in. Now that just slides out up into the corners and you just sort of put it inside. Your plastic clips are up in the corner here. Have a look at that. You've got these plastic clips in there. And that sort of tightens it all up. You've got these guy ropes here so you can make it nice and Nice and tight up there. And you can sort of climb up and hop into bed as you, as you need to. You can open up those windows as well. So then you take and remove this, you put this pole in, there's a hole in here. And it goes up like that, clips in there. And that sort of holds this out, so if it's raining, you can still get nice ventilation through to your tent. And there's one on the other side um, that you can do also. And there's one on the front. So. Uh, these poles sort of peg everything out so you don't get water in through your windows. Now your awning comes just like this, so you want to unzip it. Now I always zip to the back of the trailer and that's the reason why I do that is so that um, if you're driving along the dust isn't coming through here if you've got the zip um, zipped up here. So, Alright, so what you want to do, undo these straps, they just hold it all in. Ah, Michael, just in time, mate. Just in time, yeah, hold those poles. So as the awning comes out, you want to sort of make, can you just hold this up here like this? I'm just going to grab those poles underneath. So just hold it nice and high. Now you've got a couple of different poles, all right. And what you will notice is on the deck, you've got these two thumb sort of screws there. So what we'll do, hold that there. We're going to undo them, okay? I probably should have undone these first. Might have been a bit quicker. All right, so you're going to start putting those, um, those thumb nuts in. Put this over the top there. That's perfect. Do that. And then thank you, Michael, for holding that up. <clears throat> like so. With your legs, and you're done. Then you can, what you can do is come here and just strap the awning in, all right? And there you have it, guys, a walk around the TH610. And don't forget, you've got the 730, um, which gives you a bigger deck for those larger buggies. Happy camping. Mm -hmm.